welcome to the Republican Party Convention. <laughs> oh no, sorry, Stockhausen. Right, sorry, wrong night. That's tomorrow. Right. How are you all? Good, good. You're about to see something incredible. My name is Nihal. I am the moderator, which is uh, a role Stockhausen envisaged for himself. If there was ever a time he couldn't do it, he specified that an Essex boy of Sri Lankan heritage should do it in his place. And possibly a Tottenham supporter as well. He got all three... All right, all right, simmer down, Arsenal fans. He got all of those three things right, or Graham Vick did. It is my job uh, this evening to tell you a little bit about the Helicopter String Quartet. But before that, I want to introduce you to these four fine individuals who are very much integral part of the Helicopter String Quartet. It is no coincidence that there are four of them here. Yes, look and learn. <laughs> Please make a lot of noise for Laura, Vincent, Jenny and Emma, the Elysian Quartet. and didn't want to confuse you, that's why he called it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what was going on in there. But uh, he called it Helicopter String Quartet for a reason. There's the String Quartet, and there are four helicopters waiting for them. So now they will leave and get in those four helicopters. The Elysian Quartet, everybody. As if we don't have enough surveillance in this country. It was very important for Stockhausen that you were to see every part of this. Hence why we are now filming the Elysian Quartet on their way to the helicopter launch pad. Now, I know you're all very interesting people, but let's face it, if I was just to shut up and let you watch four people in a minibus, it wouldn't be very exciting, would it? So, no, not really. Unless, of course, you have some kind of weird fetish about minibuses. So, I'm not here to judge anyone. So, what I will do is describe to you, if I may, a little bit about the heli helicopter string quartet. In 1991, actually, how many people here are huge fans of Stockhausen? Put your hands up if you are. Yes! Big up the Stockhausen massive, to use popular parlance. How many of you have never heard of Stockhausen before? Put your hands up. <laughs> oh, you're so shy. You're so shy at the risk of all the Stockhausen fans going, Philistine. They won't. They're lovely people, Stockhausen fans. Um, how many of you would love to play a violin in a helicopter? <laughs> well, you're going to have to live vicariously through these four fine individuals. So, 1991. Some fine people in Salzburg. And please, Stockhausen fans, feel free to not judge me if I get any of this wrong. Okay? I don't want to hear mass tutting. They asked Stockhausen to write some music for a string quartet. Stockhausen being Stockhausen didn't find that particularly challenging. So he said, mm. I'm quoting, of course. And he said, mm. and then he had a dream. And in that dream, he looked down on a string quartet in four helicopters. He was a very busy man. So he didn't have time to compose music for this particular piece right there and then. But he did make some sketches. Over 92 and 93, he did get the time to do it. In 94, he delivered it to the wonderful people in Salzburg. They would cock a hoop with excitement at the prospect of being able to put this on. Unfortunately, 
those pesky green activists in Austria were having none of it. Don't you just hate the Austrian Green Party? Party poopers at the highest degree they are. But luckily for Stockhausen, the people of Holland, who are of course used to air pollution with all the marijuana coming into the sky from Amsterdam, didn't mind. So in 1995, the Dutch did what the people of Salzburg could not do. And that was the first time the helicopter string quartet was performed. Stockhausen fans, am I okay so far? Yes? God, that was a really bad yes, was it? Um, well, yeah, kind of. For a Radio 1 DJ, kind of. <laughs> it's as good as you're going to get from a Radio 1 DJ, to be fair. Um, Stockhausen was very particular about everything, as those of you know him will attest to. The technicalities of this are incredible, considering this was the early 90s he was talking about it. His vision was amazing. So, three microphones in each helicopter. One attached to the instrument, another one to the mouth of the player, and then another microphone, the third one, is attached to the outside of the helicopter. Very good reason for that is because Stockhausen wanted the instrument and the sounds of the rotor blade to work perfectly together. And it will create an amazing sound. Now, this will be like watching quadraphonic tennis for all of you. So feel free to be able to go like this. But you will be doing a lot of this. It'll be like the seated twist is what you will be doing. And it's going to be amazing. So please, everyone get ready to witness something. Has anyone ever seen this before, by the way? Put your hands up if you've ever seen this before. There are about 15 show-offs in the room. The rest of you, you're about to see something quite incredible. We're really, really lucky it can take off. So far, the weather in Birmingham, which is known, for those of you who don't know Birmingham, is the Saint-Tropez of the Midlands. Honestly, <laughs> it is. We've been very lucky with the weather, which means, as you can see, that the helicopters are ready to take off. So, three microphones and, of course, video fed back over there, mixed, fed to the desk here where Ian is, and you will hear a mix of that sound will be brilliant. And there will be a point at which the musicians will start to say numbers. Do not be shocked by this, even though it is slightly disconcerting at first. But you will get used to it, don't worry. If those of you are used to having people shout at you in German, again, another strange fetish you might be into. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it begins. <laughs> 